Welcome to Snapdragon Stadium in San Diego, California, home to the Aztecs of San Diego State. And being in San Diego is never a bad thing, and it's even better when you have a matchup like this one. We've got a sensational matchup for you. Fans have been filing in and getting ready for this game. As we'll see a team from the Pac-12, the Washington State Cougars, taking on a team recharged after a much-needed bye week, the San Diego State Aztecs. 48 Sports Cup. The give to the running back from the shotgun. Running with power. Just outstanding vision from the young freshman on that run. It's first and 10 from the 38-yard line. They're getting this guy lathered up. Gets it past the first down marker and still running. They'll get him down, but not before he crosses the 50. He's down to the 49. They are dialed in on this drive. A couple of chunk plays, and now they'll snap it on first down. At the 35, he's open. Off he goes. And he slipped through the crowd, and he'll house it. Touchdown, Wazoo! Yeah, coming into the game, you look at the stats, and you say top 10 offense in scoring. So they better be able to create what? explosive plays another explosive plays they've been doing it all year long those plays are backbreakers defenses just can't contain this offense Action on first down. He's going up top. It's complete. A huge pickup. And he'll take it to the house. He got loose. Touchdown, Washington State. Washington State. This offense is so good. Man, they can hurt you in so many different ways. And they do it so quick, so explosive. They can put small drives together, big drives together. They've really had a great year. And that's why they're a top 10 offense. up top on first down quick strike complete there to make the tackle but the big throw is good enough to give them a first down and there was no question in that scenario that's where the quarterback was going he knew he had his receiver in a matchup that he liked running a route where he would find himself open nice job between those two he now has 84 yards on the ground and he's been terrific all season ranking in the top 10 in rushing Looking to go up top on first down. And the diving catch down the left sideline. Man, that's a tough play to make. When you're that far down the field and you've, you're trying to control your body and run as you're laying out, that's a really great effort, really good concept. Of the gun they'll run it inside crosses the 30 to the 31 a six yard gain got six on first down now a lot of options on second and four grabbed in the backfield it's williams he's there to make the stop and they threw it in reverse losing yardage on that play they've made third down offense a key it'll be tested on third and long from the 28 he's got it and he's knocked down immediately, but not before he moves the chains. The Cougars have it with a first and ten. Well, offensive coordinators put in countless hours every week trying to formate and use different personnel groupings and shifts and motions to give their offense a success on third down. You can tell in this game, this offensive coordinator, he has put in the work this week. And he got a hand in there, knocks it away incomplete. Couldn't find his man last time. Now they'll have to convert third and four. 
Well, I know that one fell incomplete, but what a day this guy's had throwing the football. Multiple touchdowns, and he's done a really nice job with his dis... Got it in stride inside the 20. And he'll take it all the way. They couldn't bring him down. Touchdown, Cougar! They've extended the lead and taken control here in week nine. Wants to throw on first down. Got it in the middle. It's Hudson. For an offense, slant routes against man coverage are really a rhythm throw. You take your steps, you get the ball out. It's got to be in a good location. Quarterback and receiver on the same page. Now. The tackle is made, but not until he gets the first down. It's a nice run there to get the first down. I got to tell you. The give to the back. Finding a way to put that foot in the ground and get it up to the 37-yard line. Let's go! They'll snap it from the gun on third down. And it's incomplete despite some serious arm strength shown there. I mean, sometimes you overthink it, sometimes. The offense showing motion from the tight end, trying to get a read on the D. From the shotgun, the handoff to the back. These little gains can start to add up as he gets it up to the 34. Nine-yard pickup on first down, and now they can take a shot on second and short. Pulls it and fires to the left. And they reacted well to the completion, but it was too late to keep them from getting the first down. Now from the 40, it's first and 10. Just a solid stop by this sophomore. At this point of the game, the offense has the lead. The offensive coordinator knows they want to keep running the football. So he's going back. He's looking at his playlist. And he's saying, which runs work the best for me in this game? What can I lean on right here to make sure we win this one? They showed great trust in their... They'll try to keep this clock moving on the ground. Oh, he's so hard to get on the ground. He's got room. And he runs it in for the score. Touchdown, Cougars. As they push that lead out, a really good opportunity to get back in the win column. I love the execution on that play. Great blocking up front just to get the ball carrier an opportunity in the second level of the defense. And then at that point, it was make a guy miss and use the speed. That was a perfectly executed play. We sensed a great deal of confidence, almost a smugness from this coaching staff. And these guys on the field, it's as if they knew they were going to win. Yeah, playing with a bit of a chip on their shoulder. And I think they really felt like they had a real good game plan offensively and defensively coming into this one, David. There were some matchups on the field they thought they could exploit. We saw that happen here. No doubt. Good job by this coaching staff understanding who's out there to make plays, feeding them the football, offense, defense, special teams, all working together to get the W. That's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, our entire broadcast team, I'm Reese Davis. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.